My name is Jan Welch, and welcome to episode 16 of The Vault, the Dead and Outblading YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, this is a show where we watch old footage, old raw clips from tapes that I filmed back in the late 90s, early 2000s, mid-2000s, and sometimes even later. And these were all clips, well not all of the clips, but the best of the clips on these tapes were featured in old videos that I made. Now, for episode 15, which we just released this past week, it had footage of Omar Weissong, which was actually sent to me for Steal This Video, which is a Razor's video I made. It also had some cameo clips of Kin Lee, which were never used for anything. So if you're a big Kin Lee fan, go back to episode 15 and check out the show. It's pretty cool. Some cool clips. It's not that long. Totally worth the watch. Now, that tape that he sent me wasn't fully recorded over. So the rest of the tape I recorded myself. And the footage from that is what we're going to watch today. So that's going to be the footage here in episode 16. And that's footage with Damian Wilson, Robbie Whitcomb, and Jimmy Ormsby. And this was all filmed in San Diego by myself in around 2002, 2003, I believe. I believe it was filmed for one of Damian Wilson's sections. I couldn't remember what section some of this footage appeared in. So if you remember what video or what section... This footage was in go ahead and leave that in the comments below and if you do enjoy this episode make sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload new videos and please share this video it really helps me get this footage out there which is pretty cool old classic rollerblading history let's check out all the footage on this tape with damien robbie and jimmy first up we have robbie whitcomb and robbie is awesome He's still awesome. I still talk to him today. Then Jimmy, another integral part of Santee. And then obviously Damian Wilson, who's just a legend. And this is who I was really, you know, getting clips of for a project we were working on at the time. I obviously filmed with Jimmy and Robbie a lot. They're both very talented. It's just a talented crew. Missing from this is obviously Nick Wood and Lashavak. And Nick was the only one who went to different schools, so I'm not sure... You know what's up with him this day a lot of times he couldn't come especially on school days but we do skate a high school here so i wasn't sure if it was maybe like a later in the afternoon on a weekday or the weekend i don't remember it's 20 years ago but this spot i mean how cool is this spot curb ledge you can't really hit it from the other direction though because you have that wall in the way but it is downhill approach which is nice and there's that other one on the left the little s thing i don't think we ever skated that we only skated this middle ledge and it's also a spot we didn't go to that much just because san diego at the time had so much to skate that was a cool switch up from robbie yeah, <laughs> awesome. he's so awesome anyway san diego had so many ledges i mean if you were around watching old videos back then you know that san diego was a spot capital so this was not really a spot we went to that much but looking back at it i would love to skate this today i wish it was here at my house and i'm not sure if it's still skatable because it's such a random spot, it might not be capped. Maybe some of you San Diego skaters might want to chime in in the comments below. Is this still a skatable spot? And if you don't even know where it's at, because a lot of, I don't know what's happening with San Diego skating, I'm sure Steve Steinmetz knows where this is because he actually told me the location, so he definitely knows. But it's on College Grove Drive in the Oak Park neighborhood of Southeast San Diego. So it might still be there. Check it out. Um, yeah, awesome spot. Now, Damien, he's skating in these sweatpants that are so saggy. They have to be a size, like, I don't know, 4XL sweatpants. I mean, they're so saggy. Who here skated in big sweatpants like that? <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Scripture blow. Robbie and Jimmy are also baggy, but a little bit more form fitting without the sagging crotch. And I always love Damien's tank tops because they're very form-fitting yet so long. And I could never find long tank tops like that. And then actually like tucking them in, it's just too much fabric. But Damien definitely had his own style. And yeah, I mean, I always loved filming with these guys because they were all so talented. And watching them progress and their peers, you know, in San Diego, they had, it wasn't just a Santee crew. You had Chris Haffey and Mike Leaf. You had Aaron Dazan. Then you had the older kids, like, or older people, like Shima and Elliot, who skated with these guys all the time, you know? And with the Santee crew, Eric Burkett, you know, 
Shrine, Adiel, all those guys. It was just an unbelievable place to live, to capture, and document all this amazing skating. That was absolutely sick, and I know that was in the video, so let me know in the description below what video was that switch up in. And I've had people ask me before, what's up with hitting the lens? Well, back when everything was filmed on tape, which is just all mini DV, when you're watching through the footage, you have a lot of tapes, so you would just fast forward through and wait till you saw a hand slap instead of watching the whole tape. So that way you knew to stop to capture the footage. Damien with another trick on this ledge, the negative Machio. Now, if you did do a long enough hand signal, you might miss some clips. So that's one thing that's been pretty cool about the Vault series is I go through and I find clips that I might have missed, you know, or I didn't do a hand signal. Um, but there's been a lot of clips, even, you know, with that last episode 15, those Kinley trip clips were never used, and they're pretty killer. And, yeah. Um, and some clips back then, you were like, well, it wasn't good enough to use. And looking now, you're like, well, that was actually a good trick, you know? Um, I never noticed until watching this section with Damien or remembered his... Negative Machios are very step up, right? Like that, you know, it's very step up. That's kind of how I Negative Machio. And that's who, the person who did a lot of Negative Machios back then um, was obviously, you had Omar Wysong and you had Josh Latona. And then Damien was really one of the only guys in San Diego to do negatives that I remember. Um, but stepping up like that, that switch up was great too. I believe... He touched. And I think I say that there. But uh, Nick Mance, if you remember him, Nick Mance was really good, but he stepped up his fish brains like that. And I think it kind of rubbed off on some people in that era a little bit. Uh, yeah. Who's doing negative? Everyone watching this video right now, say this is 2002, 2003, maybe a little bit later. Um, but not much, because Robbie's pretty young. Who was doing negative Machios at that point? And were you stepping up, or were you jumping on it? Or do you remember? Now, that was a six switch-up. And, you know, to me, back then, it didn't really matter, because that many, you know, many people weren't doing negative yeah, Machios. Yeah. Today, so many people do negative Machios that they're a little bit more picky, I guess, on it. But, I mean, like I said, he does it like I would do it, so it's not that bad. Oh man, mouth is dry. There we go, six switch up. And there again, I mark the footage. Now, we're at a new spot. We're at Morris High School, and this is also in Southeast, uh, Southeast San Diego in the Skyline Hills neighborhood. This is only about 13 minutes from the last spot, four and a half miles, not too far. You know, we did a lot of driving. There's so many spots in San Diego, so you just, you do a lot of driving. And you pass a lot of spots. But this was a spot we also didn't go to very often, this kink trail here. And I don't remember if there's stuff inside. I know there's a curved ledge on the outside here. Um, but yeah, I don't really remember. And I'd also be curious for any San Diego people watching this, is this a skatable spot still? Uh, you know, it's been 20 years since I filmed in San Diego. And I know even when I left in a, you know 2012, a lot of stuff had been capped from these previous you know, years of all the things I've filmed. Now, this is a really cool, that was a really cool trick. Back Unity, kind of step over Royale, three out, <laughs> super awesome. Uh, and I think that last one was pretty good, but he seems to be doing it over and over again. I, well, I remember he was trying to, what he was trying to do is go to Soyal. So Jimmy, <laughs> oh, Jimmy's so funny. He was not really having his day that today on that session, but that was awesome. Jimmy really ripped, really ripped as well, especially with gaps. Like he did some really cool like roof gaps. There we go. That's the switch up Damien was going for. That was pretty good. I think that's about as good as it got with him. I think he was trying to go a little bit cleaner, but it was still pretty sick trick on a kink rail. 
Oh, Tally Maki would have been sick too. Those are that kind of jerky movements? And then back Nugan. Also cool. Jimmy. Jimmy was with for a Machio to Pud Slide. That was kind of sick. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I only ever went to the school a couple times. I don't remember ever filming on it again. Possible. Those are, which skates are those? The Shima 3s? Or is it the same ones they reissued recently from Razors? Aren't I? Let me know in the description below. I was model so bad with skate identification. What does? But I know they all skated for Razors. Those are what USD is. Oh man. So speaking of skates, the new standard Omni Skate just released this week. Make sure to head over to Standard Channel on YouTube. I'll put a link just so you can check it out and check out their new skates because they look really cool. And I believe that those were Thrones that he was actually on Jimmy skating. Oh, you see that yeah, that ledge there? It's so sick. Yeah. Jimmy's <laughs> with the soul grind. He laced it. Counts. What? Now the next Very spot we go to grind. is a spot we went to a lot. Yeah. And that's going to be in Kanto. There we go. That was it. That was back unity to Soyal. Now this is in Kanto. And this rail was skated a lot. You might remember like Lao doing like hard spin 360 topsail on it. Um, lots of switch ups. Shima backsiding it. Now this is a this was a pretty cool setup here. This little drop, stall, roll, grind, stall to rail, boom, sick, super sick. This is actually a session I, rem I like. I feel like it just happened because I remember the energy of this session and setting up that log there because they pushed it down the hill. Uh, so sick. <laughs> I Damien, Damien. I mean, this isn't some of Damien's like top-notch footage. You, if you know Damien Wilson, you know how good he is and how many crazy tricks he's done. Oh, dude, but this is still really good footage, and it's really fun to watch this and just had the memories flow back. You know, twenty years. The nostalgia is real on these clips, and then Jimmy with. The breaking the spot. That was the end of the footage. That was super fun to watch. The skating was awesome. Damien killed it. Jimmy going for that roll to bonk on the, the little log at the end, knocking it down. Awesome. And even though Robbie didn't lace a lot of tricks, he has some really cool style and he's such a nice kid. And I love, I've always loved Robbie and I'm glad he's doing well out there in Southern California, raising a family. Awesome stuff. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure and hit that like button. Help me out. Hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't ready. Hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload new episodes of this show. And if you did enjoy this episode, help me out again and share this video. Share it to Facebook. Share it with your friends. Let's get it out there. Let's have people watch this video because it's cool. It's really cool. I hope you found it cool at least. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this episode. And thank you all very much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you very soon at episode 17 of The Vault here on the Dead and Outlating YouTube channel.